Hi, time for another update. Um, I haven't done one in almost uh, a week and a half. When I did my split in a previous video, I had inadvertently rolled or dropped my queen. So when I did that split uh, for swarm prevention, I took it a step further inadvertently and prevented my swarm by killing my queen. Uh, I had done that on a Wednesday. The following Monday when I checked the hives, uh, there's a little bit of video of that, and I had quite a few emergency queen cells. So what I decided to do was make lemonade out of lemons and do yet another split. So uh, I took five frames from the flow hive, uh, plenty of queen cells, and moved them into another 10 frame box that's over there next to the nuke box. So we have flow hive, my original 10 frame hive, the new 10 frame hive that was a 5 frame split that went into it, and then the 5 frame nuke box at the end. So, um, doing the bee math, uh, having killed them, killed the queen on a Wednesday. Uh, that following Monday would have been the right day to start seeing capped emergency queen cells. That next Wednesday, I did my second split and I cut back some of the queen cells so there wasn't uh, too many. I, I had over 20. And then um, yesterday, according to the bee math, should have been the day that the queens emerged. So what I'm going to do today is open up the nuke box, the five frame, uh, five frames that I split out into the ten frame box, and the flow hive as well to see if uh, a queen has in fact emerged and has started tearing down uh, other queen cells, any remaining queen cells. If I find any remaining capped queen cells, uh, I think I may leave them alone and let nature take its course because uh, I have, well, I obviously I killed a queen once before. I don't want to do it again. So once again, wish me luck. I couldn't have checked the flow frames. That may be a lost cause at this point. I marked the frames that had a queen cell on them with an X. I left two in here. So we'll, uh, actually, I left one in the bottom brood box as well. So I'm going to give them a little bit of smoke. Destroyed queen cell. And 
And there's another destroyed queen cell right here. It's been torn down. No need to go any further in here. I know there's a hatched queen somewhere and she's in there tearing down cells. So if the bee math is right, next weekend, Friday and Saturday, or excuse me, Saturday and Sunday, is mating flight time. Now it's time to uh, button this back up and check the other new. The other hive, excuse me. Issues I've had with the flow hive is that despite all the nectar, they still haven't kept anything. There's still some showing up in the ends, but not a whole lot. Sourwood flow is coming. Maybe that'll do the trick. Time to check the nuke. Tore down queen cell. We're all good. This is the uh, where I moved five frames into from the flow hive, along with a bunch of queen cells. They're roaring a bit more. frame that had the queen cells on it and torn down.
gets released everywhere. So, queen's hatched in the flow hive, the 10 frame hive, and the 5 frame nuke. Uh, the emerged queen had obviously gone and torn down other uh, queen cells. So nature's doing what it's supposed to do. Now all I have to do is keep my fingers crossed that uh, when they go out to mate this coming weekend, uh, that they find uh, a DCA. I have two beekeepers uh, within a mile and a half of me, actually three. So there should be a drone congregation area somewhere around here uh, that these queens can find, that they get mated and make it back without getting picked off by a bird.